Uh, sticking with auto news, battery making gigafactories are about to arrive in Europe. This is a term that was coined by Elon Musk, but now Daimler wants a piece of the pie. Uh, Caroline Hyde joins us now with more live from London. Caroline, what exactly do we know about the European gigafactories that are coming? Well, that they're all pushing in the same direction. This is why Daimler, the maker of Mercedes-Benz, the Maybach in America, this is why they broke ground on a half a billion euro plant today. Big fanfare. Angela Merkel, the leader of Germany, was there. And it's all about seeing not only the auto sector push towards the battery trend, but so too the utility sector as well. Both of these juggernauts of industry groups really looking to capitalize mainly, Emily, on the falling cost of energy storage. This all becomes basically a bit of a virtuous circle as car makers such as Daimler, such as rival Volkswagen want to get into the greener energy types of cars. Meanwhile, the likes of the utility makers like Enel in Italy and, and other makers in Finland and Sweden are looking to basically be able to store renewable energy sources better via batteries such as solar and wind power. All of them are pushing in the same direction. They're going to produce more batteries, thereby pushing down the cost and making the whole economy of the whole thing even better and better and therefore a more virtuous circle. This is why we're seeing the likes of Daimler get in. This is why BNEF, this is the Bloomberg New Energy Finance researchers have said, look, battery costs could fall 43% in the next four years. This makes electric vehicles perhaps cheaper than normal vehicles as soon as 2023. David, are we thinking that gigafactories will pop up from more automakers? Yeah, look, you're seeing uh, forecasts of, of uh, lithium-ion battery production tripling by 2021. And you're seeing a lot of, uh, there are plans for a lot of cars coming out, particularly from the German automakers. And, and you look at the one that was just announced today, uh, that's Daimler. If I'm Daimler, I sell commercial trucks and luxury cars. What is Elon Musk making? He's making electric luxury cars, and he's planning on commercial trucks. So he's got a target on Daimler's back, and they want to do something about it. So they're going to put some, some new vehicles out, uh, BMW through its Audi division will be uh, putting out some electric cars. Porsche plans to. Every automaker has to do it for regulation, but a lot of them are seeing that Tesla has some cool cars out there. And toward the end of the decade, we're going to see a lot of electric cars coming to market, and that's what all these batteries are going to go into. Caroline, will Daimler be able to catch up to Tesla? Is that the question here? That's the key question. They've got a lot of, as you say, models coming out. And what's notable is, well, they've got to please their own politicians. Merkel of Germany has said, look, by 2030, we want to see six million electric vehicles on the road. So they've got to please their own governments at the moment. They've got targets of their own. And, and it looks as though we could see about one fifth of all new cars sold by 2030 actually being those electric vehicles. The way you take it on is by making the battery itself more economical. And if we are going to see that cost slashed by some 40 percent, that's the main cost of the car that you're producing. So suddenly that becomes a lot more cheap and therefore more people are willing to buy this. And I think it's interesting, therefore, we are going to see VW get in on it, Daimler get in on it, but also we're likely to see Europe, which has a pathetic market share in battery making, just 2.5%. The region wants to double that at least. They want to try and make ends meet and, and really trying to take on the likes of Tesla in America, but also China and Asia, which actually dominates battery making.